we're going to read in the book, Mr. Sugar Came to Town, La Visita del Señor Azúcar, by Harriet Romer and Cruz Gomez. El camión más raro que jamás habían visto estaba estacionado en frente de la casa. Parecía una tienda de caramelos. Una panadería, 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 una, una heladera, el, edale, heladería, y una fábrica de rosquillas. Bienvenidos, mis dulces niños. Dijo oh, el señor okay. Azúcar. Era el chofer del camión. Quisieran probar un dulce rico. Los niños abrieron grandes ojos. Quiere decir que podemos tener cualquier cosa que queramos. So what did the children ask the, the man? You mean we can have one? Mm -hmm. And why do I want you to learn to read in Spanish? Go ahead and answer something. I'll tell you a story while you were thinking. There was a dog that was a boy dog, and he didn't lift his paw to pee. So he would melt the snow in Chicago. He was my dog. And a friend said, Daniel, pobrecito, pick up his leg and teach him. So I didn't do it, but he went and picked up the, the leg for the dog so the dog could pee without getting his front paws wet. Why did uh, he want to teach the dog to pee like every other dog in the world? Yes, I suppose so. But the thing is, sometimes you don't know how to do something. Like, he had seen, his, that, that dog I know had seen his father pee, but it, it was still a puppy, so it, it didn't know how to do that. He didn't know how to balance on three legs, maybe. Eventually, it did it just like a regular dog. Oh, <laughs> don't think it's the same cat. <laughs> yes, just like that dog didn't know that it's useful to be able to pick up one leg and pee. You probably don't know at this age that it's useful to speak two languages. Well, I know it is, but it's more than someone to do it like making them a black man and then making them run away to do it. Well, that's the way that the police stop you. When they stop you, nobody would obey them if they didn't have a gun. Normally, they wouldn't have out their gun normally. Well, even if they don't take it out, you know that if you... 
doing enough to scare the police officer, he could shoot you. Yes. But in either way, that's still going to jail, and then even longer, because all you had to do was pay a ticket in the first place, you know, pay money. But if you make a big resistance, then you end up in jail until if it's a weekend for a week or two. I've seen some guys 30 days because nobody had money to bail them out. 60 days. And then when they get to the court case, see they say, all right, Bob, see you later. When they get to the court case, it says, well, okay, so we find you uh, guilty, but time served already because we didn't get around to your court case until now, and you've already been in 60 days, so okay, well, uh, that's it. <laughs> You're dismissed. All right, then. God bless you and those that surround you.